Hey guys and welcome back. This is Safe and today I'm going to show you how you can use DonorBox to allow your nonprofit organization to receive donations. So let's get started. First of all, you need to create your account or you can just log in your existing account. And here I will choose organization login. And this is how your donor box will look like. So in order to start creating your own form to receive donations, you can just go to campaigns, click on it. And then you can go to the top right to choose new campaign. And here it shows you the steps that you need to follow to accomplish completing your own donation form and hence receiving donations. You first need to create a form. Then you need to share the page with, in which this form will be embedded. So now we will create a form first by clicking on new donation form. And now it will give you an option to insert the title, the campaign title. So I will choose homeless children and I will choose the language as English. Then I will choose the goal amount that I need to achieve is as $1,000. Then I will create donation form. And here it will allow you to insert additional details in order to know how many details you will need to insert you can click on this drop down menu and here it shows it will show you all the steps that you need to follow to complete your own form so here we will complete all these steps essential amounts payments tributes information post donation and receipt and receipt emails now let's start with the essential and here i will name my campaign title as homeless children I will choose the color of my own form as green and red. And now I will choose the corner radius as round corners. You will not see any edits formed on this right template unless you click on next. Here you will see the actual effects or the actual edits applied to your own right corner after clicking on next. Now let's complete the rest of them. Here I will choose uh, the title text that will written in front of the users when they click on the form as save thousands of homeless children then i will choose the payment as one time weekly and monthly then you will need to identify what is the default payment that will be um, shown to the user once they click on your own form I will choose one time because this is the most common then you can select the recommended interval that you would like people to actually do I will choose weekly because this is the most frequent and by choosing weekly you will find that it will be added here and a heart small heart sign will be added next to it now I will leave these two um, options as they are and I will click next and then we will be able to see the actual edits that have been implemented. Until it loads, here you can see on the left that we are creating information related to amounts. So here I can choose the currency. I will choose it as dollars. I can also enable multiple currencies so that many users all around the world can pay me in their own currency or donate in their own currency so i will choose for example some bunch of currencies like Egyptian pound euros let me see what i can also insert indian ruby for example um okay i will choose swiss franc and this is done for me this is more than enough and now you can see the donation amounts so here you can see that there are many amounts that are set by default that users can just click on to donate and if you chose to write what actually this amount provides to children it will make users or donators more willing to pay money for these amounts because once they know what will actually be done with their money they will be more willing to pay this money so here in ten dollars i will choose blanket it will buy a blanket for a homeless ch child and 50 will pay him the school fees and 100 will pay him shelter fees. Next, I will just go and uh, leave these as they are. I will set the minimum donation as $5. And I think this is done for me in this page. It hasn't loaded yet. So I will just click on next to see both edits implemented. 
And now we need to insert information related to payments. So uh, here you um, you fill all the information that you need to fill to receive money from your own donators. I will just leave this step to the end. And now you can also change the label itself of donate into other word. I will just keep it as it is. And here on the right, you can see the actual edits that have been performed on your own form here. So if I want to see the first page, I don't think it will allow me. It will just show me, if, uh, it will give me a, a view of the final page that I have edited. Anyway, it's not a big issue. We will just view it in the end of this tutorial. And now let's click on next. And here it will allow you to add your attributes. If you are making this form for the sake of any, um, d for the owner of any person or any occasion, I will just leave this as it is. I will not enable it. And here you can see actual, the actual edits that we have made. Here you can see the payment periods or intervals. And here you can see that this is the default. And because of this heart sign, this is the most preferred. And these are the amounts and what they will buy. And you can also write a comment. Now let's press on next to complete editing our form. Here you can add your information of the users. So some users actually prefer to be anonymous and they don't want to be known um, due to some beliefs or some traditions. So you can enable this anonymous donation to respect their privacy. You can also collect any additional information from them. By clicking on next, we will be able to uh, insert the post donation method message like thank you message. I will just write thanks for saving children. And finally, here you can redirect the user after filling the form to a specific page like thank you page. Now let's press on next. And here you will insert the final details which are related to reci uh, receipt email. So here you can choose the email subject. I will use the donor first name. And here you can see the template, dear donor first name. This is a receipt for your gracious donation to, let's make it to children. And donation details, thank you and save. Now let's press on save and we are done. So in order to share your own page in which the form is actually embedded, you can go to donation page, click on share page, and then you will see the link. Here you can click on the link to see how your form will look like. So this is our form. This is the amount raised, the number of donations and the goal. And this bar shows you how much you have achieved from your own goal. Here you can see the payment. And here you can choose the currency. Now I will just choose this first option. I will press next where it will move me to and uh, my information, I will just make the don donation anonymous and I will click on next. I have to insert my email. And now I will go and press next. Yeah, I need, I need to insert my, e my name and last name, even if I will make the donation anonymous. I don't know how to be honest. However, uh, here you can see the payment. So once you enter the payment, you give permission to a uh, donor box to take money from, from your own credit card based on what you chose to be donated to the organization you chose. And this is how you can create your form and share it. Now you will see that there is an error on the top left, which is the payment because we did not insert any payment information. This is done by going back to your donor box, navigating down to account, then clicking on it and choose payment processors. And here you will be able to connect to your Stripe or PayPal or whatever you want to actually receive money on. And this is how easy you can use Donorbox. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.